Hello everyone, welcome to Tarish TV where we bring you information from around the world. Please would like you to subscribe to this channel so if you are yet to subscribe. And please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can get notification whenever a new update is posted. Thank you. Nation Youth League, BNYL, has described the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi Kano, and former militant leader, Asari Dokubo, as retired freedom fighters. This is following a recent video released by the Asari where he asked Namdi Kano and his group, the IPOB, to seize oil well in the southeast and stop idiotic ranting. BYNL said Kano and Asari now have nothing more to offer than making news headlines every day. Ebuta Takon Ako Deputy National Leader of BNYL and Director of Operation Biafra Broadcasting Service, BBS, said, said this in a statement on Monday. The group said that most Biafra agitators have adopted the attitude of market women having lost focus on the struggle. He warned especially the IPOP leader to disease from insulting people and using foul languages on fellow Biafra activists, adding that this arrogant words and insults against some ignorant people from the South South and unnecessary blackmail won't win the support of the people of the region, especially the ignorant ones. We know that they have retired from the struggle, but using their platforms to make news headlines, the BNYL said, I would advise that they go to, I would advise, beg your pardon, I would advise that they go to the market and quarrel. I know the character of Nam De Kano, his attitude had been has been to insult non ipop leaders and those he feel they are ignorant of the South South. But he failed to understand that ignorance and blackmail won't win the support of those so called ignorant people. Ako wondered why men of over 50 years old have failed to lead by example, reminding them. Of the situation at stake, especially the rampaging Fulani Hesmen attacks in the region and their inability to provide solution. He advised them to drop the struggle if they are tired. If they don't have a solution to Biafra and Fulani killings in our land, let them drop and go to the market. That's where women quarrel. We can't be reading trash every day in the paper. It shows no maturity, the group added. It warned that tribalism in Biafra struggle was not a good signal. He added he expressed disappointment that Asari Dokubo, Ankyo Briggs, and Namdi Kano has been on war of ways over tribe tribal issues. What if I tell them that without any tribe, a, a Jagbam or any cross river tribe, there won't be Biafra because we are the people that have a direct border with other foreign countries. Apart from the fact that a Jagbam is in Cameroon, we share sea border with Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, not even Rivers or Baeza, but you will never hear them f mentioning a Jagbam or Cross River in their claims. We w and we won't make this, this hail of noise that they are currently doing. Oh, wow. Let's listen to what people have to say concerning this 
Uh, this person said, E.J. said, Shame to you all, cause truth can set you free. This person said, This kind of stuff happened when people who are brainwashed and will informed venture into things. They are gradually falling apart. Another person said, God bless you. This person said, This may be why the allies in the region tactically distance themselves from the struggle. This is a group being sponsored by the Nigerian government. This is a worded message. A very worded message from the BNYL. Well, that is the truth to some people and that is another issue to some people. But be that that is me, let's still listen to your comments and your opinion concerning this issue and do drop by at the comment section.